But one thing I've learned is that it's always intuitive. Read it again, Gary. He didn't say that. He missed out the word not. It's an important word in the sentence. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. But one thing I've learned is that it's not always intuitive. You quoted me that I said physics is intuitive. I never said any such thing. Yes, you did. You're a liar. Yes, you did. You misquoted him. You misread what he said because you're blind as a bat. Put some glasses on. Stop being vain. Stop being vain. Stop lying. Stop misrepresenting people. Stop misquoting people. Stop mischaracterizing people and experiments. And stop being a fucking huge carbuncle on the face of the planet. But one thing I've learned is that it's not, not always intuitive. Oh, no, it's not. Never said any such thing. I never said any such thing. But one thing I've learned is that it's always intuitive. <laughs> you are such a prick. <laughs> always intuitive. But one thing I've learned is that it's always intuitive. Oh, no, it's not. I'm being a retard. We know. I'm being a retard. We know. I'm a retard. No. I'm a retard. You don't say. I'm a retard. Well, I have to say, I'm shocked because I thought you were a fucking genius. No, I said it's <coughs> counterintuitive. Yes, that's what I meant, but yes, reasonable people could misinterpret me. No misinterpretation. You cannot read. You cannot read. You are too blind or you too thick. One of the two. Which is it? And all because you couldn't put your glasses in. That's why DC motors have communicators. What? Are you fucking ten? To have a communicator. I mean, a communicator is just... You really are fucking clueless. Gary, you really are fucking clueless, aren't you? <laughs> communicator. It's called a commutator. A commutator. And all because you couldn't put your glasses in. Alright, I mean, the point of... Hallucinogenic model. Um, shouldn't they be intimidating? <laughs> and all because you couldn't put your glasses on. <laughs> Gary, it says heliocentric, not hallucinogenic. You stupid, stupid bastard. <laughs> Please put some fucking glasses on and plug your brain in. You didn't want to look like a little old man. But you are a little old man. You're a fucking moron. Put your fucking glasses on, then you'll be able to read these things without missing out the word not. Only you misinterpret these things and then make wanky, weasley, cheap excuses for not being able to read the word not in black and white letters in front of your fucking face. You lanky streak of bass piss. You are a jerk. <clears throat> you skipped the not. Who cares? You have the nerve to say that you have integrity. You have zero integrity. Absolutely zero integrity. How scummy is it to make a mistake reading somebody's statement and let the world think that they've made that wrong statement, the exact opposite statement? They were in fact agreeing with you. He was agreeing with you. How scummy is it that you are letting people think that he was saying the exact opposite thing that he actually was saying? And now you're calling him a jerk. How scummy and low is it of you? You absolute piece of shit. You cannot even take responsibility for your own mistakes. You're like a child. Not important. No, it's not important to you because you it's not you being affected. It's not you being ridiculed. It's not you being misrepresented. I'm just disgusted with you. Fuck you. And fuck you too. That's the only argument you've ever got. And you wonder why physicists don't want to talk to you. Nothing to do with your so-called science. It's because you're a shithead. A wanky, lanky streak of bass piss. That's all.